I like that part of working on a a band that nobody knows about, nobody's heard of. And Imagine Dragons, they were playing at uh, the Viper Room for 80 people. They, right. they were doing their little residency there when they finally finally got picked up after two and a half years of, of you know being rejected. Robert Reynolds was the lawyer for and then became the manager for the killer. So I, I had a relationship with the Reynolds family and okay. we had success with, with the killers. Yeah. As soon as I heard Dan sing, it's like, you know, I went, man, I want to be part of this. And we started doing songs. I think It's Time was one of the first songs we did. They kept recording stuff and sent it over, and I would work on putting it together and yeah. get, making mixes on it. And I mean, I know Mac and Robert were trying to shop it. Andrew and I took it around to get one of those things. We took it to everybody, and nobody quite got it at the time. They were definitely out of the mold of what was yeah. being successful at the time. Sure. Um, toward the end of that two-plus-year adventure, they started doing their re residency at the Viper Room. You know, it sold out at 80 people, but somebody from Alex, the kids' camp, he, mm -hmm. had, a, he had a little rap label with, you know, it's through Interscope, and one, I think one of his guys came down and heard it. He signed the band, and they did. They did a couple. They did three more songs, I think. Just watching them go from leaving the Viper Room and nine months later playing "Life Is Beautiful" for festival for twenty five thousand people. Sure, just like that's just like it's so fun, you know. It's like I knew that I knew this was pretty darn good all along, <laughs> but like to see that vind vindication of like 25,000 people trying to climb over the fences and they're all, you know, the words all the yes. songs. And everybody knew every, every word, word to every song. I didn't know every word to every song. I listened <laughs> to them for, you know, I listened to these songs for a year and a half. 